Boy, affordability in our mountain towns not getting any easier. Mm -mm. Businesses say they can't hire or retain workers, and those workers say they aren't paid enough to live where they work. Denver 7's Patrick Perez visited Winter Park, where a new project is expected to help with the affordability problems. Construction continued Monday for a development at Winter Park Resort that's expected to house more than 300 employees. Number seven was there as crews celebrated setting down the foundation for the two buildings being built across the vintage hotel. It's a wonderful place um, to live, but the inventory of affordable housing is low. The development is one solution to the affordable housing crisis impacting mountain towns like Winter Park. People want to come work, then they can't find a place to live that works for them. And so this is going to help alleviate a lot of pressures on not only us, as a resort, as a business, but also the entire community. Nick Catrumbus, Winter Park mayor and owner of Dino's Mountain Bistro, says he's currently subsidizing housing for nine of his employees. It's an additional cost he and other businesses are having to bear in order to stay open. Whether it's buying condos, buying single family units, subleasing from other property owners, um, or also subleasing through the town's programs, it's, it's a vital component to being successful in our community. The development will feature studios, one bedroom and two bedroom homes, each with their own lockable doors. Employees, however, will have to share kitchens, bathrooms and living spaces. We haven't set pricing yet, but one bedroom um, rent will be around $650 to $700 a month is what it's looking like. And what's unique about this is that it's being built on resort property. So that means the housing is going to go right here and those employees, they'll be in walking distance of their jobs right over there. For employees like Denise Nelson, who have had trouble finding housing in the past. I was finding near Boulder pricing for a job that is not near Boulder rate. This is a game changer. We didn't put up more condos. We put up things that serve this community and serve this workforce that actually keeps us running and keeps our guests happy. Construction is expected to be completed by fall of next year. The resort already has a system in place to determine which employees will qualify to stay here. In Winter Park, Patrick Perez, Denver 7. And it's not just Winter Park that is making sure resort towns are more affordable for workers. To give you some context here, let's look at Steamboat Springs. That city recently passed a ballot measure that specifically taxes short-term rental properties to help fund affordable housing projects. Also, anyone hoping to offer short-term rentals in Steamboat now must obtain a short-term rental license. The city is hoping that this will help gradually phase out properties that are being rented out for less than 30 days at a time to ensure those homes could instead go to people who actually live in town.